it's Nicole the Math Lady, and today we're talking about problems about equal groups. Now we've been talking a lot about word problems, and there is one more group of word problems that we haven't talked about. It's called equal groups. Take a look at this problem. John has five decks of cards, and there's 52 cards in each deck, which means there are 260 cards in total. Well, how did we figure that out? Well, let's think about it. He has five decks, so that's the number of groups that he has. Number of groups. And then we found out that there are 52 cards in each deck. So in each group, number of groups, and then there's the number of each group, and those are multiplied together. When you multiply those together, you get a sum total. So in this case, we did 52 times 5, we got 260. Ah, not bad. Let's see if we can apply this. Oh, wait, well, let me tell you one more thing before we move on. What kind of pattern is this? What do we have right here? It's a multiplication symbol. So that means this is a multiplication pattern. Okay, multiplication pattern. Now, we're ready. Let's use this and try a few word problems to see if you can use this pattern and our Nicolism. Well, you know what it is. Yep, we're coming up to it. Sugar cookies and Larry. See if you can use that to help solve the problem. Here's your first problem. Jaden bought three packs of Oreos to share. There were 186 Oreos total. How many Oreos is in each pack? Let's take a closer look at this problem. And we're gonna use, please eat sugar cookies right, Larry, to solve this word problem. The please, the P stands for pattern. So what kind of pattern is this? He had a certain amount of Oreos, right? He had three packs, that's his number of groups. Then we know, and totally had 186. So it sounds like this might be a multiplication pattern because it's about equal groups. Let's take a look, E for the equation, we know, again, three groups times how many Oreos in each pack? We don't know. So I'm going to write um, C for cookies. Makes it easier than writing an O. It's kind of hard to see an O. So three times how many cookies in each pack tells us how many Oreos were there total? 186. Okay, that's our equation. Sugar cookies, we're going to solve and check. We have a missing number in multiplication, which means we do the opposite to find it, which is divide. So we're going to divide 186 by 3, and we can do that mentally. 3 goes into 18 6 times, 3 goes into 6 2 times. So there were 62 cookies in each pack, okay? But let's check it first. 62 times 3, we're going to do it over here to the side. 186 cookies, it's looking good. So let's review that. He had three packs of Oreos, and they're saying in each pack there were 62 cookies. Would that lead to there being 186 total? That sounds about right. Wonderful, and we're gonna label it 62 cookies. There you go, there's one example using equal groups and the multiplication pattern. Let's take a look at another example. I spent $18 on candles. Each candle costs $3. How many candles did I buy? Let's take a closer look at that. So let's start with please pattern. So we had, let's see, a certain amount that we spent on the candles and we know how much each candle costs. We wanna know how many candles did we buy? That sounds like we're missing the number of groups but we have the number of each, because each one costs $3, and we have the total. It's a multiplication pattern. All right, so let's do the equation. We're missing the group, so let's do C for candle, times how much did each one cost? Each one cost $3, and our total was $18. Okay, now we can solve and check. What times three equals 18? So we're gonna divide 18 by three, and we know that 18 divided by three is six, but we're gonna check it. We're gonna put it back in. Six times three equals 18. Nice. Let's review and label. Does it make sense that I bought six candles, 
Each candle cost me $3, so total I spent $18. That sounds about right. And our label would then be candles. And that's it. Equal groups is really that simple. It's all about multiplication. And then once you set up that equation, you got to figure out which number are you looking for? Okay. Make sure you go ahead and try the practice problems on this and just drill until you make sure you have it. Okay. I hope you're having a good one. I hope you found this one to be pretty easy. I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.